In this short tutorial video, I would like to show you how you can make your submissions uh, from your home machine. Um, let's say for lab number zero, this is how, what you follow. However, if the procedure will be very similar for all the future labs and also the projects. And let's say for lab number zero specifically, you have to make sure you completed uh, the tutorial series over there. So task number one and number two, make sure you have completed them. And then you have to check against this checklist of features over here, make sure your features uh, match their headers because we're gonna apply automatic grading on your submission. So the spelling of the headers, like a feature name, type, and also parameter, they must be precise, verbatim. And also make sure your project structure and also the directory structure satisfy these two diagrams. If you follow through the tutorial videos faithfully and completely, you shouldn't have trouble. Okay. Assuming that I have done that, so you're now ready to submit. Let's say I have this particular folder on my desktop. That's my project folder for lab zero. Let's say I'm ready to submit. So there'll be two phases you have to follow. Phase number one, you have to transfer this local folder on your machine. Uh, up to the server on your red account. That's phase number one. Phase number two, you have to SSH log in to the red account and then submit from the command line over there using the submit command. I'll show you both phases. Uh, if you don't have any setup on your machine, there's something, some reference tool you can consider. There's a free tool called FileZilla. So that one is supported on both Windows and Mac. So it's free. You can de definitely download it. That'll be for phase one to transfer the file from local onto the, the cloud. And for phase number two, uh, to really type from the command line. For the Mac, you can simply use the default terminal. I'll show you from there since I'm using a Mac. But for Windows, you can also download a tool, for example, let's call PuTTY. And that one there, once you download it, you can also follow the same procedure to use the command line. Okay, either way. So let's say uh, I want to do phase number one. I want to transfer the file. So let me first go to FileZilla over here. You need to type the host. On the left-hand side, this is the local machine. On the right-hand side, once I get connected, this will be the cloud, uh, the server side. And remember, you cannot use the web submit if you ever use it in your second or first year. You cannot use it. It has to go through the command line because there will be some check done by the uh, command line uh, submit. Web submit wouldn't do it. So it's uh, unacceptable if you do the web submit. Let's say for the host, you have to type the following, sftp colon double forward slash and then red.eecs.yorku.ca and also your EECS login name. Uh, for mine, it will be student Jackie and then the password. Okay, let me uh, type it right. Okay, and then you will see, uh, you can definitely say trust the host if you're using your own machine and then but I'll just say okay here. And then it gets connected. You can see over here, this is my local machine called desktop. And this is my home account, just under student Jackie account over here. And then I can definitely, uh, I can transfer to anywhere I like. But now, for example, I can simply just create a directory over there. Uh, if you have got, got it already, you can skip this step. So let me just call that 33.11.4.20 over there. Okay, and then I'll say okay. So that particular directory has been created. Let me look uh, look for that. 33.11.4.20 over here. I can just do a little bit more. I can say create another directory here. Let's call that maybe lab zero. So that'd be the submission for lab zero. You can create for lab one, lab two, lab three, and project, etc. You can see lab zero is, uh, is exactly here. And now I want to transfer from birthday book onto the lab zero. So to do it, let me uh, double click on the remote side. Let's click on lab number zero. Currently, it is simply empty. I want to upload from birth, uh, the birthday book in, onto this particular empty folder. So I'll right click on my local birthday book and then you can simply say upload. Okay, it will take a while. When it is done, so now we are ready to use the command line. So that'll be phase two. So now I'm just gonna illustrate from my Mac over here using a terminal, but you can definitely use uh, an example tool for Windows like a party if you wish, okay? So the way to really submit from the command line is very easy. You gotta use SSH command. So SSH, uh, let's say your ECS login, okay? In my case, it's student Jackie at red.eecs.yorku.ca and then your password over here. Okay, so now I'm here. Remember I created this particular birth, uh, this particular 3311420 and lab zero folders, right? So what I would do is say CD 3311420 
and then I got left zero over here. And that's the uh, folder I just uploaded. So now in order for me to submit, uh, you can also look through your instruction. There's a command over there, what you should type. I'll just type it here. So you would say submit 3311 left zero, okay? And notice that the L should be capital, okay? And then I would say this particular folder name, okay, like this, okay? And then I'll simply say that. And now it is submitting, please, before it tells you the result for the checking process, you should really wait, okay? And then at the end, you should really get something like, like hurrah, you pass all the basic checks for the submission. However, it doesn't really mean you will get full marks for this particular lab. At least your project compiles and then you pass some basic checks. And we're gonna run some grading tests under the uh, when we grade you. So that's why you should really take full responsibility for the correctness of your code for every lab and also the projects. Okay, so now let's say you're, you, can, you can log out of this terminal, but later on, how can you see the feedback again? Okay, so let's see. So now if you want to see the feedback exactly this, you can say feedback over here, 3311 and left zero. Make sure you log in to the red account. And then it's going to repeat exactly the same information over here, right? So that's a check process over here. But if you want to redirect that into a file, you can do this. You can say redirect to, uh, I can say lab zero feedback.txt. Okay, if I do that, you can see now I also keep a record of myself over here. So now if I simply try nano uh, lab zero feedback.txt, and then that's exactly the result over here. So that will be a record for submission. It's really important for you to uh, keep a record yourself. And then uh, again, let me emphasize that you can submit for as many times as you like. Uh, it's actually recommend that you submit multiple times before the deadline. So you always keep the latest backup in on our server. Don't wait just uh, until the, uh, let's say a few minutes before the deadline. Uh, problems usually occur, uh, occur around that time. So please make sure. Okay, if you got any question about submitting, please get in touch.